Thank you very much, uh, Mark, and thank you for everyone for coming here. And uh, I'll try to do my best to be as clear as possible. And my intention is just to share some questions, some ideas with you, uh, discussing on uh, about an environment that we all use every day. Uh, we students studying persons, let's say, or we, I mean, people for, for every, uh, every day's necessities. And so what bus to take, or I don't know, what, what is the recipe for a certain pasta? Or, and uh, it's, it's uh, snowing in Macerata in this moment, so I'm, I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. So rain is nothing for me. So... Um, to, um, to, I mean, to arrive to those questions, I uh, ask uh, your patients, I will uh, I, um, have the intention to, uh, I mean, uh, run through some uh, uh, gener original characters of what was the World Wide Web, what has become the World Wide Web in the new century, and some of the issues that, in my view, uh, uh, are, uh, were opened uh, uh, the last uh, 25 years and uh, maybe are open now, especially for the academic communities. I said an overview, so the specialists, some of the colleagues from the high school are here present, so thank you very much for being here. Um, um, an overview, so I won't go into uh, 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 too deeply into technical questions. I will try to to, I mean, to discuss very widely what are the main, uh, main questions. Why a chicken egg dilemma? This is the suspense, so <laughs> I will <laughs> explain it at the end, but just um, uh, what I uh, put in evidence is the um, dialectic between uh, the users and the providers of um, environments, technical environments and uh, services how we behave, um, has we changed our ways of uh, our behaviors in searching information uh, to do our research of for our everyday lives. Um, was it worth to change? Was it worth to uh, adapt our uh, information behaviors uh, um, in those last 25 years or for, for the youngest? Uh, for the last years. Um, I start from, um, from far. Um, just, I mean, to have a suggestion, just to have, I mean, uh, uh, some uh, ancient uh, warming. Uh, in a um, dialogue, uh, in a platonic dialogue, uh, the Mino asked to Socrates, um, and how will you search for a thing when you are wholly ignorant of what is it, of what it is? Even if you happen to bump right into it, how will you know it's the thing you didn't know? <laughs> no, it's, 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 just, no, it's not a joke. It's our, I mean, every, every day uh, uh, starting point. I'm thinking, feeling lucky. So the, the, the first question is... Uh, um, is internet containing everything? Uh, of course not. And uh, we will see later what is the real domain of information that is covered by Mr. Google. And uh, we have to be lucky to reach, to catch what is really interesting for us. More or less the same problems uh, uh, exist for uh, academic libraries. I just, uh, I mean, uh, put uh, an image of the UBC library because, of course, these days I'm here, I'm working on, on here, and so I'm looking for the resources that I'm using uh, during my classes, uh, uh, using this, this, this very wide and, uh, uh, I mean, rich library. But the search attitude is what it's, uh, is expected from, from, from us. Um, so what is the difference between these and Google? In Google, we were looking for unstructured um, 
text, uh, textual information mostly, even if, except when we look for images there. Um, they are published and they are supported by metadata. We'll say something on it later. Here we are looking inside a um, closed domain of the selected resources, so the, what, the, resource, the resources that librarians decided and university decided to support. I mean, the, 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 research, the, the research, um, resources that university can afford to pay every year. This is a, another, uh, I mean, big question, but we have not the time to discuss over it. Um, search attitude. And uh, the last, uh, I mean, uh, case uh, of searching uh, uh, access uh, page, the Library of Congress homepage, where they uh, um, add uh, users or add users, different users uh, of, uh, uh, of behaviors of information by adding this browse um, uh, tool. What does it mean, browse? It means um, moving in, in, in the, I mean, the, 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 the jungle of, of, of selected information resources, a lot, millions of, millions of, of resources, by choosing some facets, so different sites, different attributes that uh, can be um, uh, used, can describe the resources contained. This is a little bit different than putting, uh, I mean, just a keyword or two keywords on a blank uh, space on a, on a page. It means that we can select different logics, different keywords to, uh, I mean, go, uh, uh, um, um, closer and closer to the, the small domain of information we probably are interested in. We probably are interested in, but I mean, Umberto Eco was saying uh, before, 10 years before the spreading of the web that he was talking about the, the, the I mean, the experience, the great experience of uh, exploring the shelves in a library. Uh, except the, the, this, I mean, this very um, romantic image that it, I know most of us probably lived. This, it's interesting, t the, the, the first um, phrase that I, uh, I mean, highlighted. It's interesting, what, 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 what is one of the um, main goals of a, of a library is to support the possibility to find books that you don't know existed, not just to look for something that you already know. This experience is called serendipity. Probably most of you or all of you know the, the, the sense of the word. And it's an interesting, uh, um, it's a very interesting part of uh, searching behaviors, looking for something and discovering that something else uh, is interesting or even more interesting than what you were looking for. The people who's making work, uh, research in archives or in uh, old libraries is used to, is used to it. Um, but what form has the information on the web? Uh, here you don't see. <laughs> it's so black. It's so black. Oh, this is interesting. It's, it's interesting because here there's a black box. <laughs> so black that it's not possible to see. I see it on my monitor, but I don't see it here. So information can be... I mean, form the structure in, it's of course, it's a simplification in two main ways. As a sandwich, that means, I mean, uh, packing together layers of information, the content and uh, different layers of additional information, we call them metadata. Or, <laughs> as a black box, that means uh, structured data, a, a, a box of structured closed data um, whose uh, models and logics are invisible to users. To search into a black box, you have to um, um, decide what are the key words, what are the key uh, searching uh, words you intend to use. Otherwise, the box is closed, is black. Uh, maybe it's this concept is more clear with this image. 
So what, in what domain are we inquiring uh, when we look uh, for something using Google or Bing or Yahoo, of course? Uh, we just see the, we just uh, uh, move in the, on the tip of uh, an iceberg um, because the, the possibility of, of searching, of search engines, is to look for structured and already published information, textual information. All the rest, academic databases and so on, so the, the black boxes, are called deep web. We are not talking about the dark web, that is the I mean, encrypted web where the worst part of the world is uh, uh, of conversation, let's say, or transactions are, are, are dealt. So, um, just to give you some number, numbers, it, it was uh, uh, evaluated that, uh, estimated that the web consists of roughly 5 million terabytes of data. So I'm, not saying the, the, I'm not saying it in bytes because it would be a too, long, a too big number. Google um, um, has indexed about 200 terabytes. So a very, very, very uh, small percentage of what is the World Wide Web. Um, but what are metadata? <laughs> my, my colleagues in, in uh, Macerata are always uh, kidding me, you are the man of metadata because I'm crazy for metadata, so sorry for... What are metadata? Uh, all those elements, they are not, uh, I mean, an intrinsic part, internal part of a, so they are not content, they are talking, supporting content. This is very nice, these are, these are metadata, in, in, uh, uh, the, uh, an encyclopedia of uh, the decline and, and fall of the Roman Empire, you see that the column <laughs> is ruining uh, till the, uh, uh, more and more to the, to the last uh, volume. So this is, these are metadata in some way. They are telling us something about the content. This is, these are metadata. We choose the medicines uh, inside a, a, a store because we read something of the content. Maybe we can read some, something on, on the use we have to do, the posology, and so on. These are metadata. It's a front. Uh, uh, a front page of a, of a book, in this case it's a collection of, of, uh, uh, of drawings. We know the, the author, we know what's the responsibility, we know something about the, the content, and uh, we have the date, so when, and so on. <coughs> All this kind of information can be expressed also uh, through, I mean, codes, textual codes. What are the, 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 the functions of metadata? We'll be very quick on it, but it's interesting. Of course, to identify, to select uh, um, uh, <laughs> contents, to know about the availability of content. Where is it or where it was? Um, something on the right, what, um, may, what may I do with this? May I access it? May I use it? May I reuse it? And under what regulations? Um, something about management. So. What, uh, what is required to, to do to maintain, to maintain in a repository, to, I mean, uh, guarantee the value of those data, of those resources. Um, preservation, of course, uh, um, uh, whether it's, uh, it's worth to be preserved, so what are the dispositions to guarantee a long-term memory. And they may support also um, the tracking of the usage of information. So we can know how many people accessed that page, uh, from when, and so on, uh, and so forth. But coming back to search engines and uh, to our experience in searching inside the web, what is relevant? I mean, um, we... For, uh, First, we, we, we see that there's a problem of choosing the right, I mean, criteria, the right keywords to extract something from the black box or from the collection of sandwiches. Um, the, second, the second issue, the second problem is to uh, orientate among the results. 
uh, the, I mean, the, the, the people of my generation were used to deal with neutral orders, alphabetical, chronological, and so on and so forth. Now we are going to, we are used to, uh, to orientate, to, to read, to understand other rankings, other logics of rankings. Uh, we know that under Google rankings there's a, an algorithm that has to, 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 to do with uh, popularity and other, and other logics. But for example, I try to look for my, just using my name as a keyword in the, in the OPAC of UBC, and the first two results are reviews on a book that I edited, not my book, not the book. It's, there's surely, uh, I mean, uh, uh, robust reason, uh, uh, serious reason after, before it, b b behind it. But just to say that it's not that logic that the first result of the first results are the more relevant for our uh, researchers. What I, I mean, saying it really very, 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 uh, 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 synthetically, what could be the typical issues in using the web, in using web um, environments? The coverage. So is it clear what is the, exactly the, the, the edges of the information domain we are, we are inquiring in, or we are, I mean, browsing in? Uh, the, the question, is there a possibility that here I will find what I'm looking for, is uh, so granted, and the negative results uh, mean that, um, that ne not, there's nothing there or that it's hidden somewhere else. I'm thinking to some, I mean, projects uh, uh, named like, I know, National Archives or National uh, no, the National Library, all the books, all the archives are there, probably not. They are, typically they are work in progress, so what is complete? So what is out of this completeness, what is out of this domain, exists or not? The syntax, the logical structures of, of data, of information, is so easy to be decoded by everyone I have doubts about that, and especially the terms, the language, the grammar of information on the web is really so popular. Um, I have for often doubts on what is the real content of a under a title, under an abstract, or under I mean a list of results. Let's go back to the web. This is the first image of the World Wide Web. This is the, the well-known uh, schema that uh, Sir Tim Berners-Lee drew down and inserted in a paper uh, that was called Information Management, a proposal, a dream, let's say, uh, 1990, 1990. And this was the first web page, uh, World Wide Web, 1991. You know that, uh, what is the origin? research, universities, uh, not uh, a, co a big company, not commercial, uh, I mean, uh, environment, but university and research. And this is the first image on the web. <laughs> I don't know if any of you knew that. Um, uh, I'll read you. So, the, um, wait. The, um, there was a designer in the, in the CERN, Silvano De Gennaro, Italian probably, who was, uh, was asked by Tim Berners-Lee, uh, uh, he, he writes down, my colleague Tim Berners-Lee asked me for a few scanned photos of the CERN girls. This is a, 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 I mean, a, a all female parody pop group of CERN people, CERN girls. <laughs> Uh, to publish them on some sort of information system he had just invented, calling it the World Wide Web. So, but just to give you, the, you know, that the, the image is, is terrible. It can, can be, it can be published now. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, uh, but since the beginning, Tim Berners-Lee was thinking to a multimedia environment and tried to think how much visual is the web now, how much. 
uh, information is uh, um, transferred or mediated just using images. Okay, let's go back to serious, uh, to serious uh, topics. Um, so it's evolving, the evolving infosphere. You know that the first 10 years were, I mean, was a, a, an incredible, unbelievable uh, uh, grow of, of, of websites. So uh, I'm almost in uh, uh, 1996, 97, the first, I mean, orientation pages, first searching uh, pages were developed uh, and there were bibliographies, there are uh, uh, taxonomies, there are uh, organized uh, domain, the logical domain, the, the, I mean the semantic domain of the web in areas, personal finance, real estate, shopping, small business and so on. Uh, they had uh, a problem, I, I used to, uh, to I mean, consult them with a lot of problems, why? Because the web were evolving at such a uh, such a quick way that they were always old. So, 1998, this almost blank uh, page uh, were launched by two PhD students at the Stanford University. So, again, university, again, research. Um, just search the web using Google. So, just, uh, I mean, a space where to put one keyword or more than one keyword. So, from taxano taxonomies to search engines. These are two different behaviors. Uh, who has passed the, the, the shift uh, maybe can remember what, 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 what was the, 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 the first effect. Um, what's happening? Sorry. I don't know why I can't. Okay. Another important phenomenon of the first, I mean, the original web, even if we are already in the, in the, 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 the new century, the, the 21st century, is Wikipedia. Today, Wikipedia turned 18, so of majority age. And uh, what was the, the idea of Wikipedia, the cooperative intelligence uh, transform into an encyclopedia, into a collection of uh, information uh, uh, without an academic control, without an authority control, but just left to the uh, I mean, volunt voluntary uh, initiative of everyone. Um, the technically, it was based, uh, and it's based, uh, yet still now, uh, um, on the original um, technologies of the web, original protocols, the original languages, just hypertext, sub, uh, mostly text, mostly text. Um, just to give you some numbers, and then I will try to show them the, the activity in, in uh, or, or, or live. Um, at, uh, now, I mean yesterday, uh, it numbers almost 50 million voices, bo articles, uh, entries, uh, but much, much more entries. There are images, there are, uh, there are um, touristic guides, uh, and so on. Um, three three, uh, 303 different languages. The languages are decided by the communities, are not imposed by an authority. The first language is English, almost 12%. The second is Cebuano, the language of Philippines, uh, almost 11%. The third is Swedish, uh, almost 8%. What, are the, what is the rate of um, Wikipedia editing? 35 million of editors. Some of them are more active than others. Uh, for English voices, they calculate uh, um, 125 uh, editors, uh, active editors of last mo in the last month. Just to have an idea of what is the, I mean, the density of activity of, let's give a look to this. Maybe I have to con reconnect. Sorry. 
Okay. Um, the spirit of Wikipedia is uh, that everyone can. The music of Wikipedia. These are the uh, edits made exactly now on the English Wikipedia. Maybe you can give a look to the, to the title of the article. Some. Welcome, this is the music of Welcome. Okay, just. But there's, uh, there's some, I mean, some quality, let's say. Um, going back to the our presentation. What are the pillars of Wikipedia? Uh, since the beginning, Wikipedia decided that there uh, uh, have, has to be some, I mean, basic principle to, to build on the, the, the community. Uh, these five pillars are Wikipedia is not a primary source, is not a secondary, secondary source, it depends, but it's an encycl encyclopedia. So there's not the truth, but it's the representation of knowledge in a certain moment. This is very important. Uh, second, uh, it adopts uh, and supports the neutral point of view, that of course it's an utopia, but it's after discussion, it's, af it's after, I mean, uh, um, sharing of points of view, not from an academic or, I mean, uh, an authority. Third, it's free, it's open and it's cozy. So it, there's some missionary attitude to include new users to, to uh, uh, I mean, support uh, new, new editing activities and so on. Free means that the, the funding of, of the Wikipedia Foundation and all the, of, of the, some of the Wikipedia associations around the world are just uh, voluntary, uh, are donations. Google is paying a lot of money to <coughs> to uh, uh, donating a lot of money to Wikipedia because uh, the, the results of, of Google, I have sp uh, often this, you know, box on the right, uh, when you look for names, you look for places and events and so on, there are Wikipedia data extracted. Um, fourth pillar, fostering respect and active listening of others. It's very, very important. There are, I mean, never-ending discussions among Wikipedians uh, uh, about that. Of course, never-ending and some, sometimes boring uh, discussions, but the, the, the principle is interesting in my view. Fifth, all the rules can be updated except those five pillars. Um, this means that, in my view, that... Uh, um, I mean, supporting and diffusing such a, a, a popular, um, um, I mean, concentration of information. Uh, Wikipedia is the fifth most popular service on the web. The others are a little bit different. Amazon, Google, Baidu, YouTube, the other the first four. So non-commercial, made of information, not made of Trans, uh, I mean, commercial transactions. Um, it's a m way of promoting libraries, promoting knowledge. The references, the bibliography on Wikipedia uh, are very, very important. Now, in these days, there's this uh, one lib, one ref uh, uh, um, project. So uh, every librarian, librarian is asked to add one reference in one voice in Wikipedia means promoting the reading of real books, uh, promoting the reading of, uh, I mean, first level uh, uh, sources. So this can be maybe a product of the, of the collective intelligence, let's say. But a new century uh, brought also some big phenomena that I, we want to see, I, I want to, to, to share with you very, very quickly. First. The digital conversation swarm, so the web 2.0, the, the chatting, the, the social uh, uh, networks. Um, the numbers uh, are popular, you know, two billions uh, monthly active users on Facebook and so on. Um, 
uh, as regards the social networks, they are very, I mean, fruitful sometimes and good um, uh, environments. Uh, there are, of course, some issues. Uh, who's aware about the use and reuse of their contents, for example? Um, what is obscene and offensive? Uh, Facebook has banned, for example, um, 19th century uh, um, paintings with a, a naked woman, uh, I mean, uh, laid down on, on a bed. And uh, Nazis' uh, uh, assertions are not obscene, are not offensive, so it's not that easy and I don't, we don't know if it's the, there's an authority that can deci decide on Facebook what is obscene and what is offensive. Uh, the tendency of replacing the online with, with the online conversation, the on-site conversation, like what we are doing this afternoon, for example. Titles are replacing content. Uh, this is due also to the, the, the devices, we will say it later. And then, the, um, the diffusion of those um, automatic agents, these automatic um, users like bots, trolls, uh, and uh, uh, who, I mean, they have behind the spe uh, special strategies on diffusing false or post-truth uh, um, contents. Because the second, the second big phenomenon is the mobile, de mobile devices, so the outdoor access to digital information. So what are the typical uh, issues, the pathologies, uh, the, the disorders of being always connected, must have the, new brand, the brand new phone, um, and some reduced skills in, in patience, let's say. The time that necessary to read, to understand, to go beyond the title, um, and in writing as well, because the, the use of a, of a um, touch screen is not uh, the same as writing down on a, on, a, on a keyboard and so on. And pollution. If we uh, know that there are more or less four billion uh, uh, smartphones used, uh, they were produced more than eight billions. So where are the other five? Where are the other four? It's a very, I mean, dangerous uh, um, waste. E-government, so that we are coming close to universities. We are more and more used to interact with authorities, with institutions, through the web, through uh, uh, digital environments. Um, some issues, uh, security, privacy, identity management, uh, who's aware of uh, the use uh, of, the, of our personal data, the question of interoperability, uh, too many platforms, this is the, 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 the topic I want to, to highlight or underline here, maybe there are too many functions uh, um, converging on the same community, uh, and now I'm thinking to university communities. We are... Uh, many persons with different roles inside the same, the same institution playing different roles, not always the same roles. And we are using so many different platforms. And maybe we need, uh, I mean, uh, orientation app that guide us to choose the right app to perform uh, the, the, um, the activities, uh, everyday activities we need. Uh, but we have to think and we use, uh, uh, in our information systems, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, using the, the first person because I'm, I mean, I'm directly responsible and, uh, and uh, I mean, involved in, in, in the information system of my university. Um, we have to use the language that is comprehensible, that is access accessible also to external communities, stakeholders, communities, uh, um, candidate students, visiting faculty and visiting scholars is not that easy, is not that granted. Another very important phenomenon that is, uh, I mean, present uh, uh, is the uh, shift from the web of information to the web of data. So no more, uh, not just information decodable then directed di directly to users, to human users, but to uh, web users, to uh, machines, to web agents. Uh, what does it mean? We are um, going um, over 
the idea of um, adding layers of metadata, layers of attributions uh, of qualities to a single piece of information, we are transforming them into triples. So that's a way of uh, we, we, we are thinking normally, uh, we, we are learning. So subject, predicate, and object. John Smith is author of some doc. That, for example, for web agents means that uh, it has no sense writing some doc is author of John Smith. In the uh, present system made of doubles, this has sense because they are just, I mean, lines of descriptions. The problem is to build up the ontologies, so the resources that support the properties uh, that connect different resources. What is the um, added value of this approach? Is back to uh, connections, back to um, serendipity. So every um, piece of information can be uh, connected autom automatically or almost automatically according to rules, uh, I mean semantic rules uh, that we had drawn down with a lot of other possible resources, uh, editors, uh, other writers, uh, I don't know, publishers, um, places, uh, uh, times, uh, moments of the, of the time, and so on. This is, according to me, a very interesting phenomenon. I mean, I'm not <laughs> the, uh, the, the one, the first to say it, but it's very, very interesting. It's changing uh, the way, the, 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 I mean, the, the building of information uh, presently. Um, and then the web of things. Um, uh, so even objects now have sensors, now have, uh, I mean, ways of connecting into the, the world wide web so we can interact uh, with objects, uh, uh, try to think to, um, I mean, uh, uh, household appliances or sensors uh, or, I don't know, the, the now popular personal assistant, uh, uh, Google Home, uh, Amazon Alexa, and so on, just talking with them so they understand the, the, the natural language and they make some things. What is the risk? <laughs> the risk is that we won't move anywhere anymore from our sofa, but okay. But for the rest, of course, there are very, very important uh, novelties in terms of uh, um, uh, for elders uh, and uh, in the medical um, uh, environments, in medical contexts. Uh, Pierre Lévy, uh, in this great book uh, in 1994, Intelligence Collective, uh, um, made some, open up some very, very interesting questions on what could be the future of uh, 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 of the information environments, uh, 1994. So the web was, I mean, at, at its begin beginning. Uh, he said that, um, okay, we are entering a post-media era, in which communication technologies will serve to filter and help us navigate knowledge, and enable us to think collectively. So the connections rather than simply whole masses of information around with us. Unfortunately, although the promoters of the information highways may be aware of the problem, they remain mired in discussions about Ben White. And they are still discussing about Ben White and investing a lot of money on 5G, 6G, 7G, ultra uh, uh, quick connections, but the very, I mean, the, 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 the very um, sense of the information uh, um, environments, the information uh, um, repositories uh, is still in discussion. And uh, my question, and we will discuss it uh, a little bit later, is uh, will universities uh, support the collective intelligence or we are just uh, supporting the market, we are just supporting the big players. Chicken and egg, let's see it from the point of view of users, uh, users of 2019. 
There are some studies uh, I, I did put um, the, the, the cover of a very interesting study of a UK, in, drawn in UK by the University College London in 2008, based on I mean, automatic uh, um, analysis of advanced log of uh, um, research libraries servers. So we are talking about research users, university users. They observed some, some uh, um, tendencies, very interesting. Uh, I want to share them with you. First, users are not coherent in their behaviors. We are different, uh, we, be, we uh, perform different uses during the day. We are just curious, uh, we have the time to make a deep research, we are distracted, uh, uh, and so on. We are many, there are many users inside <laughs> each of us. Users tend to accumulate content, not reading it. The squirreling attitude. I don't know you, but I have uh, tons of papers that I won't ever have the time to read. But I thought, oh, this is very interesting. I have to read it. And then there's something more urgent. Uh, that this is a, a phenomenon that has to be considered in our everyday behavior. Uh, third, the tendency is that users of research libraries in UK tend to choose what can be interesting for them just reading the titles. Oh, I, mean, I don't say watching the book covers, but reading the titles for sure. This is very interesting because you read something for the title, you save it, it's called 19866998.pdf, and you say you save it in on your computer, it's probably about the, this topic I'm, I'm researching on now, and you won't read it anymore, you won't find it anymore. This is a, a problem that we have to, we have to consider. Um, if web is a service, uh, um, so it offers information, products and services, we feel that it's free, but it's really not for free. Uh, I have to, uh, uh, to say that its quality doesn't depend on its innovativeness, uh, richness in options, uh, etc. It depends on the effective, efficient, and satisfactory achievement of user expectation. This is a typical, uh, I mean, uh, description of the quality of use of any product. So we users, we have to remember that we have the power to lead, to direct, and orientate the products. Evolution. There is a difference between access and use. Um, I go quicker because uh, the time is running. Access. Access means that everyone has the right, uh, um, independently by the technologies using, independently uh, by the eventual disabilities that people can have, the right to access content on the web. Go back to the, to the question of visual communication. If most of the communication are made by pictures, pictures are not readable by everyone, except if there are metadata saying exactly what is written in the picture behind it. And how many developers are writing down the content of a picture behind as a metadata of the picture? Not all. So uh, in, the, in fostering, in uh, uh, granting uh, the full accessibility, the universal accessibility to web, the context is crucial. Context means technical, so what devices, what bandwidth is, uh, is, is uh, available, social uh, um, variables, economic, digital literacy, and so on. The other uh, pillar, the other side of the medal is the usability. So the quality in use. Is the way, uh, all the web is easy to be used. Um, so what is the, uh, uh, we can, I mean, uh, explore the, the quality of the relation between users and systems. Uh, easiness has to be a core requirement uh, and not spe a special one. And who can say that something is easy? Just real people, just users. So this costs money, this costs the organization of uh, uh, focus groups or tests and so on. So very often, as you see, it's not done.
chicken and egg. <laughs> uh, of course, it's a, it's, a, it's a joke. But what I want to say is that I ask myself now what uh, Pierre Lévy wa wa was writing down uh, 25 years ago. Um, is the web, World Wide Web of today mostly uh, a global shopping mall? Or is uh, a collect the, the product of I mean, a regime for collective intelligence? Of course, there's not a, just a, an answer. It's a complex uh, question and it's a complex answer. But uh, what I um, think more is the is there a, um, a fight between users and industry, or users are just customers? And we are so, I mean. Um, we're always open to adapt our behaviors, adapt our everyday behaviors to uh, say yes to what industries are proposing to us every day. New versions, new operating systems, uh, new languages, new ways of interacting with the information and so on. And, and we, we academics, I mean students, scholars, uh, faculty, staff, we are we, what, is our, what can be our contribution? Of course, the, the people studying uh, uh, or studying on me and making research on computer science or information technologies are those who are carrying out new, carrying new uh, novelties, real novelties to the web. But I mean the community, the research community. Uh, we are bringing some virtuous tendencies uh, uh, in this uh, domain, uh, or we are just applying uh, what are the, I mean, the fashion tendencies uh, uh, of the market. Uh, for example, we c I think we could uh, dedicate more time uh, to, um, to 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 discuss about the, the 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 I mean the deep qualities of academic uh, web environments. I'm not just talking about the, the websites that of course are very important and we use them, I mean, every, every day. But also the, the um, web information, si the, the academic information systems for students, for our faculty, for staff, is it working as we, uh, uh, and we are happy uh, about that we can, uh, I mean, uh, direct devolutions, or we are just victims of devolutions. And with this question, I thank you and uh, thank you again. <laughs>